Hey guys, Gameplay Vids 24 7 here. Welcome to the first episode of my Clicker Heroes 2 walkthrough for the PC. Ladies and gentlemen, Clicker Heroes 2 is finally released in its beta form. I cannot wait to start this series off. Thank you all so much for tuning into this series. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Just like my Clicker Heroes 1 series, guys, I'm planning on making this the biggest show on YouTube for Clicker Heroes 2, alright? So, I'm going to need your support, so if you do want to see more of this on my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to drop a comment as well. On this series, I'm going to be reading out your comments on each video, alright? Be sure to join the Discord as well. Uh, links in the description below, guys. You can speak to myself and fellow viewers of the channel, alright? Let's kick this off. The legend starts right now, guys. Let's do it. Going to create a new game. Here we go. Sid the Helpful Adventurer. A character who uses her energy to empower rapid click attacks. The wizard is not unlocked right now, so the cursed wizard is still locked. Coming soon though. Alright, let's start this off with Sid, man. Holy hell, this is going to be a journey, everyone. Be prepared, let's do this. <laughs> here we go. So, starting off with the tree stump here. Let's begin. Now, what you're going to find on Clicker Heroes 2, guys, is that the actual music is so epic. Like, they've done such a wonderful job with the soundtrack. Seriously. Um, as you can see, we do have our energy meter in the bottom left corner of the screen there. We also have our mana uh, meter on the bottom right, okay? Zone will be at the top, and the health is obviously at the top as well. We're on zone of 1 of 1 right now, the planes. Top left corner of the screen is actually uh, where you're going to find your gold. Attack damage and the rubies. So there's the clickable by the way. There's the first clickable we've just found. Let's click on that. Done. Just got six gold I think then, okay. Here's the shop. Treasure chest uh, percent by one there. Wood sword increase. That's it. We have a wood sword now. Cool. That's actually added one attack. Is it or two attack? Yeah, it's added two attack there. Cool. So each swing now does three damage. I'm actually jitter clicking right now to try and go as fast as I can. Wasting through my energy though very quickly, so got to be careful with that. Now if you press the Z button on your keyboard, so that's Z for Zebra everyone, you can actually toggle purchasing by 10 levels. So that's really going to save you a lot of time and effort, okay, instead of manually clicking on each level of the item. So it's, it's kind of like a toggle purchase, okay. Uh, let's kick it off now. I want to try and generate as much gold as I can. The problem is I feel like I'm going to blitz through my actual gold, so... For the time being, we're going to have to manually click up the sword, okay? Just to get that extra damage boost. Here is the first boss of the zone 1 of 1. It's the gerbil pillar. Let's take him down. No challenge. Good stuff. As you can see, massive graphics uh, difference between Clicker Heroes 1 and 2. It is absolutely fantastic. Alright, so just leveled up the wood sword there. Wonderful stuff indeed. Going to try and smash through his chest. 20 gold there from that chest as well. I have to try and get my sword to level 10. Then we get a nice damage increase, okay? So ideally you want to level up your items by 10 levels each. Then you get the nice damage bonus each time, okay? So it does multiply to the best of my knowledge. Cheek Monk. Look at this little cute Cheek Monk here, guys. It's about to get destroyed. <laughs> so we're on 26 gold. Now we've got no gold. We are, what, two levels away from getting the Wood Sword to level 10, which is awesome. As you can tell, I'm super excited. On Clicker Heroes 1, I ended up getting burnt out after like 500-something episodes. I don't think this is going to happen with Clicker Heroes 2. This game has a lot going for it, man. It has over 600 skills in the skill tree. You'll know more about that skill tree coming up, guys, further into the walkthrough. If you haven't watched it yet, though, be sure to check out the other content on my channel, Clicker Heroes 2, which is the beta uh, showcase video, okay? Now, I'm just trying to smash through these mobs as much as I can here. One more level now until we can get the wood sword to level 10, okay? Uh, that meter there just represents how much damage that weapon's doing overall, okay? So the more gear you get, the more percentage is going to be spread around. Just remember that. So just pumping out the damage here. Not enough energy. See, I keep running out of the energy. we just got to keep this up. We're halfway to level 2 as well. Then we unlocked our, our, our first skill point. Alright. Done. Beautiful. Level 10 sword now, everyone. 21 damage now per swing. Definitely can't complain with that at all. Halfway now to level 2. 
I have to try and save up for the wood helmet, by the way. This gives us a 20% critical damage increase, or we can buy the 1% treasure chest chance. So I'm not going to purchase anything else. I'm not going to level up my wood sword anymore. I'm just going to try and go for that helmet now, okay? Just to get that extra damage boost. So I'm just going to move my face cam down a bit more here. Maybe increase its size as well, since we have all that corner to fill up. Wonderful stuff. There we go. All right. Back on the grind again. I really hope you guys can spur this series, man, to the front of YouTube. We want to get this as big as we possibly can. I'm back, man. It's going to be a journey. For all you guys that have been with me since Clicker Heroes 1, you know exactly how I get with these games. Once I get started, it's a freaking journey and a half, man. It's not going to stop until I'm finished with this game. I promise you that. It's going to be awesome, man. You don't want to miss out on it. Alright, so zone 1 of 3 right now. Beautiful. I should say zone 1 of 3. Yeah, 1 to 3? Sure. I think we're in zone 3 though of uh, 1. Who knows how the zones work right now. I'm too busy looking at the damn shop. We need to try and upgrade the wood helmet by the way. Need 130 gold for that wood helmet just to get the better uh, damage increase there. As you can see the wood helmet is doing 39% of total damage right now. Uh, if I press Z, I need 2.272 E3 gold. Wow, that's quite a bit. Or 806 gold for the next sword upgrade there. Another helmet upgrade, good. Doing 47 damage now, by the way, guys, which is very nice. Getting closer and closer now to the newest level, which is level 2. Can't wait to see what kind of ability we're actually going to unlock. Hopefully, we do get our abilities then. If we don't get our abilities, I'm pretty sure we definitely get a skill point. I mean, you would hope so, right? I don't want to spoil too much for you all. Because you've got to think, I've played a lot of this game already. Um, I'm definitely not new to it, trust me. I made the video, uh, the beta showcase video, from scratch. So I've played all those things that you saw in that video. Just got another clickable there, by the way, which is excellent. Just gonna keep the grind up. All right, 72%. The game's changed so much, by the way, since I played it. Um, on, the, on the build that I got supplied anyway, it's really crazy. Another clickable there, by the way. 50, no, 63 gold. Good. On 167 gold right now. I'm going to try and level up that helmet again as soon as possible. There we go. Helmet's leveled up again. Doing 86 damage now per swing. Two clickables in a row there. Beautiful stuff. But quite a large amount of gold there. 281. So close to level 2, everyone. This is a good start for us. 273. Doing 99 damage, by the way, right now. Got 299 gold. 82% damage there. Another clickable. A lot more clickables than what I'm used to. There wasn't... Yeah, there were not that many clickables on the version I played. Very cool. Very nice increase. So, as you can see, there is a big red warning beta sign in the top right corner of the screen there as well, just to make sure everyone knows it's the beta. Gear's up to level 8, by the way, so that wood helmet's up to level 8. Very nice indeed. Just to keep this grind up right now. Wonderful. Checking out that sunflower there as well. Oh man, what a freaking game. Yes, we just leveled up. And we did get our first skill. Excellent, I was right. Didn't want to spoil it, everyone. <laughs> uh, we got big clicks. Big clicks, guys. So we're going to start off with the big clicks. Uh, it causes your next six clicks to do 300 damage. Wonderful, let's activate it now. Watch this, guys. Watch this in action. You ready? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so good. I'm only going to spam big clicks now on the bosses. Just to make sure we get that extra damage done. Can I level up the sword yet? No, not yet. Soon. Very soon. Nice. We got that face cam just a little bit there. There we go. Alright, so level 10 helmet there. Doing 421 damage per hit now. I'm gonna try and invest in that sword soon, I think. 
Or should I invest in the next piece of gear? Nah, we'll do the sword. Might as well get the next sword, guys. There we go. Level 20 sword now. Overall, we're doing 571 damage, which is pretty decent. Really, it is. Just trying to smash out the damage here as much as I can. Excellent. Just going to focus now as well. See, really we want to spam our abilities more than anything. Big clicks, because you'll get way more damage done. Do you know what I mean? If we keep manually spamming our clicks, we're not going to get that much uh, damage done at the end of the day. But right now, uh, we can buy the wood breastplate. So we'll grab that now. Just grab the wood breastplate there. Uh, so that's doing 38% of our total damage now, with the wood helmet doing 42% and the sword doing 20%, okay? Excellent stuff. There's a zombie. Look at this little thing. It's dead now. Keep leveling up that breastplate as well. Every time I buy a new piece of gear, I pretty much just upgrade it. You'll find it does the most damage for you. There's two more clickables together there, guys. Good stuff. Level 4 breastplate right now. Just got a ruby then, apparently, as well. Beautiful. Our first ruby of the game. But as you know, rubies are back. <laughs> uh, did I say big clicks does mana? Sorry, it does energy. What am I saying, mana? It does energy. Mana's coming up, though. Don't you worry, man. Um, I'm pretty sure mana... I just got to be careful. I'm pretty sure it's energized that uses the mana. I think it's 25 energy, if I am correct. Last time I played, it was. You gotta remember, as I said, I played multiple builds of the game, so... Yeah. <laughs> Still leveling up that breastplate. 301 gold. Now, there's a... We just got a mana totem there. It doesn't even matter. I have 100% mana already. So, energize is what we need to get next anyway. Energize uh, consumes mana to generate energy. So it's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Just going to activate my ability here. Nice amount of damage done. Just gonna, I want to upgrade that wood breastplate when possible. Man, it feels weird recording a walkthrough for this. Seriously. It feels so, so weird. Okay. Just trying to pump everything out. Level 9 now. Cool. 71% there. That's on the wood breastplate. There we go. Level 10 wood breastplate, guys. I'm going to save up for the next item now, which is the ring, okay? As I told you, the music is really epic. Alright, here we go. What do we want? 50% clickable gold or 200% boss gold? Probably treasure chest boost there, I think. We'll take the treasure chest. We'll probably find more treasure chests along our way anyway. Right, so I'm out of energy still. I really need to level up soon, but we're only like a quarter of the way through pretty much. We're nearly halfway through to the next level. Slowly making our way to level 5 boss, man. So pretty much run zone 1, level 5. Now level 5 ring there, wood ring. We're actually on a time zone by the way, so we're actually losing this zone right now, technically. This is, you'll find this is what happens sometimes. You'll first like these time zones to introduce you to the like to the time zone. It's, this whole section is to introduce you to the concept of the time zone. Okay? Very good. Doing very well now. I'm just trying to focus as well. Halfway now almost, dude. So close. We need to keep on leveling up our ring.
Just out of energy. That's the worst part, being out of energy. We do have those clicks built up though there, as you can see. So next clicks that we do do... Do do. <laughs> you know what I mean though. Yes, level 10 ring, good. Very nice damage increase there. Doing 2.494 E4 damage. Which is quite a nice amount. What, can it, what else can we level up by 10? A wood helmet? And a wood sword. Here's the level 5 boss, by the way. Just not able to beat him. You're so lucky, boss. You're so lucky, bro. Now I have to smash through these little guys again. That's right. One click, one kill. Gotta love that. <laughs> now we're beating that time limit, aren't we, everyone? Look at that time limit now. Excellent. Just gonna generate the four energy. You'll notice as well, each attack that you do generates one energy. And that's auto attack as well, by the way. So let the game idle for a bit, then it generates the energy again, okay? Very good. Just gonna save up four energy here if I can. Very good. 39% damage done by the wood helmet there. And the sword as well, big damage increase again. Here's that boss, by the way, we just lost on. Watch this. Dead. Thanks for the rubies, boss. Now we're up to zone 1, level 6. Tree Imp. Are we about to level up? Soon. Over halfway now, at least. Excellent. Just pumping out as much damage as we can here, pretty much. Here's a new weapon, by the way. Which one generates the most damage? Uh, technically these two. Mana regeneration or total mana boost? Let's go total mana boost for the wood pants there. Uh, we now have 125 mana guys instead of 100. Got a nice clickable boost there as well with gold. Thank you very much, game. Gonna generate some more bloody money. Just manually leveled up the pants there just to get that small damage boost. 31% in total now damage the, uh, the wooden... Pants are doing. Trying to activate big clicks as soon as possible. There we go, nice. 40% overall damage now the, uh, the pants are doing. Good stuff, bro. So one big click will damage these guys pretty well right now. Level 7 on the pants. Very good. Level 8 on the pants. Can we level everything up by 10? No, we cannot. Got that stump boss now for level 6, guys. Look at this. Try and take him down now with the big clicks. Beautiful. Level 9 pants now. You watch that percentage go up once we hit level 10 pants. Get ready for this, man. It's, gonna, it's on 50% right now. It should go up a reasonable amount, hopefully. If I am correct. Nothing should have changed too majorly. 69%, there we go. Nice. That's from one level, by the way. Level 10 now, equalized. Beautiful. Am I about to level up again to get some more energy? Cannot you Energize is going to be your best friend in this game. I'm telling you that right now, dude. I'm not joking. Okay. Just really got to try and focus now. What I want to upgrade next? Probably the ring next, and then the breastplate. All right, done. Let's 
boosted up our damage a good amount there. Oh, here we go. New item again. It's going to be the gloves. Applicable gold, boss gold, total mana again. Overall damage will be the total mana boost again, guys. Wow. Big damage increase thanks to those gloves there. Can we try and level them up? Not yet. No, not yet. Damn. Ideally, you want to level up the gloves as soon as possible. There we go, 38% overall damage straight away with those gloves. Got that clickable there. Big clickable there, nice. Let's give me an extra level into the gloves. Almost 50% overall damage increase there with those gloves. Or total damage being done, technically. Got big clicks activated again. Gloves increase yet again, 55% overall damage. Level up, done. Uh, let's quickly have a look here, let's get Energize. Just got Energize, that's where the fun begins. Let's swap these two around, activated Energize. Let's pump out the damage, man. See, things speed up straight away when you get the Energize, doesn't it? It's a pretty good feeling, dude. Energize lasts for one minute, generates two energy per second. Here comes the boss, by the way, big bad boss. It's a big goat. Screw you, goat. Nice. Gonna wait for big clicks to come back. Actually, no, I'm not. Screw it. I have Energize on. <laughs> nice. Nice amount of damage there. Gloves have been leveled up a considerable amount. Almost up to level 10 now. Can I level everything up by, uh, else up by 10? The Breastplate. 60% on the damage of the Breastplate there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Pants are leveled up now, 28% as well. Just got a clickable. Excellent. Level 10 there, nice. Activate big clicks. Doing well at least. Boss gold, boss gold, haste. We'd probably want that haste boost. I want to take the haste boost, everyone. More haste equals better energy regeneration. That's something everyone has to remember. Okay. Doing very well here, at least. Sucking up all that energy from this boss, the Zombug. Each swing equals energy, just remember. Plus the Energize now is on, which is great. This is exactly what you want. What else can we level up here? Boots. Just continuously level up those boots there. Okay. Love the songs that you can actually make. You can make songs, guys, when you level up their items, by the way. It's pretty cool. 59% overall damage with the wood gloves there. Beautiful stuff. Big clickable again. A lot of big clickables. Level 7 on the boots. Level 8. Very nice. Level 9. Ten, sixty-eight percent, nice. Smashing out the damage here. Can we level anything else up by ten? The wood sword. Try and max out these top items here as well. Nice damage increase. Plowing through these monsters now, especially with the uh, big clicks activated. Very nice, man. Makes me happy. Up to zone 10 almost, guys. In a span of 24 minutes. Pretty good. Here's the level 9 boss. Interesting. Let's try and generate as much energy as we can off this guy. We're going to need it. Done. Alright, level 10. Time zone. Here we go. Can we knock it off in one shot? I doubt it, but we'll find out very soon. Just to do everything properly here as much as I can. New weapon as well. 
Let's go for the biggest damage, which is 1% treasure chest. It gives us the most damage increase there. 28% overall damage boost. Energize is activated again. Racing against the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it right now, especially with no mana. We've actually ran out of mana amazingly. Have a look here. Just trying to level up everything I really can. I do have full energy as well. We're actually beating the time zone on the first try here, which is very nice to see. Amazingly, we are doing this. We're actually doing this. Wow, on the first try, ladies and gentlemen. Level 10 boss is going down. Neat. Just gonna generate some uh, energy here. Gotta make sure I don't run out of energy. Gotta be strong for this fight. Gonna generate that energy per auto click. Fantastic, here we go. There's that goat. Gonna waste everything on this goat. This should be an easy victory. I could just smash him down right now. I'm gonna wait for those auto clicks to come back and then knock him out. He's done, beautiful. Level 10's been beaten. <laughs> Lovely. Doing good. All uh, right, well look, we've just beaten zone 10, so the boss is down. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. We'll be back for another episode in a couple of hours. This is definitely gonna be a, a massive marathon of Clicker Heroes 2 on the channel. So stay tuned, be sure to hit that like, subscribe button, leave a comment, join the Discord, all right? I'll catch you all, in uh, not tomorrow's episode, in a couple of hours, all right? See you soon.